Hey there Wootsuit family, it's Ryan here. You know, I was thinking about Jim's video last week when he said this. This isn't a bit about over planning your life, like just waste time. But when you know the difference, when you're like, this time is time that I'm wasting. You don't feel bad at the end of it. You're like, no, I did that. I did that on purpose. I just took an evening and I was like, all I'm gonna do is literal nothing. It really got me thinking. I have a hard time giving myself permission for leisure time. I feel guilty because I look over my to-do list and I think about how I spend my time and I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. I've basically collapsed the distinction between work, play, and complete downtime and I've basically now created a world where I have just work and all of that drains me and then all of the wasted time that I feel guilty about letting slip by. This is ultimately a framing issue and I know that I'm framing things in a way that's not really all that healthy. The problem is, is I have multiple frames that are competing with each other. For example, I have a framework that is healthy stuff. I know that it's important to eat well and sleep and so I want to cook for myself and I want to make sure I get enough sleep and that I exercise and I take care of my body because that's a framework that says these things are important to me. Another framework is I want to make things, I want to build things, I want to soak up as much as the world can give me and then I want to share that and maybe make things just a little bit better for those who I share stuff with. Another framework is that I want to do absolutely nothing productive. I want to spend time with my friends playing board games or I want to play video games or I want to read or I want to watch YouTube videos and I want to feel absolutely no guilt about it. However, another framework that I live under is that time is a non-renewable resource. Once it's gone, I can't get it back. For instance, I don't like taking naps. No matter how tired I am, I resist the urge to want to lay down. Even though I know it's healthy for you, even though I know that you are more productive, when your mind is rested, I resist taking naps because it's like time travel for me. I know that when I close my eyes, I'm gonna wake up in the future and time always marches forward. I can't go back and get that time once it's gone. So when I nap, it feels like I'm wasting time. And as a result of living under these kinds of thoughts, I tend to build this scarcity of time mindset. And I've built it because of all of these thousands of decisions that I've made where I've said yes to stuff. And individually, all of these little things are really important and really valuable in and of themselves, but it tends to create these frameworks that they just compete with each other. They can't all be true at the same time, no matter how hard I try to just make it all work. In some sense, I'm living in a prison that I've built and I keep forgetting that the door doesn't lock. I just stay inside. I know that I have the freedom to choose if I only cast off those frameworks that no longer do anything for me. If I want to live guilt-free with my down and leisure time, then it's important to keep reminding myself of that. I have a long way to go, but that's okay. Frameworks, while they might be hard to get rid of, they're not permanent, they're not set in stone. It can be really hard to move on. It can be really hard to cast off these kinds of frameworks that you use to help you look at the world, but well, I use reflection and I try to be intentional and those are my ways that I try to stay awesome. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and Jim, thanks for making me think and reflect a little bit. Anyways, I hope you have a good day and stay awesome.